I forgot where we left off, Ives. Uh, apparently we've been kicking it with this dead guy on the slab. <laughs> we've been touching this dead guy on the slab. <laughs> so we're back playing The Bashing of Ethan Carter after our, a long hiatus. It's been about three or four years. Yep. Minimum. And we're in the fiery pits of hell with the bloody, bloody corpse. Yeah, the pits of hell really aren't that bad. <laughs> I mean, compared to descriptions, this is pretty light. And you can walk out anytime you want, apparently. True. And it's so gorgeous. It really is. Um, I think the last time we were playing, uh, we were just discussing that, how we started solving how people either off themselves or got murdered. Yeah. But we can't really recall what we're supposed to be doing next or how to get there. So we're going to walking simulator the rest of the game, I guess. Uh, I think we have to go this way, actually. It's uh, it's kind of odd playing this game now that it's summertime. Yep. <laughs> it's like blazingly, disgustingly gross hot outside. And the hills of Ethan Carter look really shady and nice and relaxing. I'd much rather wear a nice, like, fall coat yep. than be outside in sticky hot wetness. At least we're not in, like, Dubai or Arizona or Qatar right now, though. And I don't mean the good sticky hot wetness. <laughs> I mean the gross sticky hot wetness. The uh, bad kind. I can't remember the layout of this place at all. To to your right is, like, the, the craggy area where that little witch's hut was. Um, I don't know if more stuff is going to suppose, or I, I can't even talk. I don't know if more stuff is going to open up to us now that we've solved two or three of the the murder mysteries. Yeah, I think I think we're pretty close to solving this whole vanishing deal. Um, nothing really has opened up to us yet. It's all the same areas we've had access to before, though. Alright, these are the houses. Yeah. And just beyond them is the, the bridge. And to the left is that little gate where the Ninja Turtles are supposed to live. Which is still closed to us. I think we're going to be coming out of that later on in the game. I don't think we go through that gate. I think you're right. But I think we still have to figure out how to get inside somehow. So that's where I'm going to head right now. You're going to make like a baby? Yep. And head out. Right through this tunnel. Which is a metaphor for one's womb. Birth canal. Yep. Which is not... I don't know. Canal is a bad term for <laughs> it. The Panama Canal. <laughs> that should be like the birth flesh hole. Yeah. And every time we launch this game, I just, I'm just i so amazed at how good it looks, but I have a feeling as soon as we get in that tunnel, there's going to be a dark mess where we can't see anything. Yeah. Are we going up this way? And we... Probably. I am lost in the woods. Do you think they'll make a sequel to Ethan Carter? Ethan Carter 2? Even more vanishing? <laughs> He's harder to find now. <laughs> um, okay, I think I know where I am now. Dude, you've said that so many times. <laughs> I've said that so many times. I'm just going to take it slow from here try to find where we're supposed to go. I know we've been we've been uh, tricked by rock formations. Yeah, in the we past, have. But I'm pretty sure there's going to be something around here. Uh, my problem is that anytime I see a rock formation that's a little dark, I think it's a tunnel. Yeah. And then I walk up to it, and no, it's just a dark rock. And I'm a big dumb. Where in the fuck is Carmen San Diego? We finished like the. <gasps> Ooh, what? You can enter? Ooh. Yes, please. Oh my God, you're a genius. That was, like, really inconspicuous. That's the problem with this game, though. <laughs> you need to inspect everything in great detail to find anything. It's uh, it, it's not clear what you can and cannot interact with until you're right up against it. Man, this is dark as fuck. Um, 
And I has flashlight. Have you ever had sex in the daylight? Yes. Like outside in the daylight? No. No. <laughs> What, what prompted that question? You said it was dark as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> like mo- most fucking I've done has been in the dark. <laughs> yeah. Or dimly lit. Um, I think we found the place where the naughty things happen. <laughs> We're the behind dark the gate. fucking. Oh, called it. Watch out for bear traps. You remember the very beginning yeah. of this game? <laughs> yeah. Way back in episode one, it was nothing but traps. Like, someone really, really wanted to make sure this gate did never got opened. That's a no, lot of come on. Grinding. That's... <laughs> you need one bolt cutter and you get in. If they didn't want anybody getting in, they would have, like, blasted it shut or cemented, blocked over it, like at the mausoleum or... So what do you think we're going to find in this cave? Rocks. Well, apparently they have electricity running through it. All right, we have a decision to make. Left or right? Um, you could go forward. Wouldn't be much of a trip, though. Yeah. Oh, that's, uh... interact with over here. Hmm. Better one, better two. One or two? I'm going to say the one without the lights, just because I, I'm feeling more adventurous. And that seems... Usually lights are an indicator of where you're supposed to go or yeah. where the game wants you to go, so I usually like to go the path. Because you're contrary. Yeah. Contrary to that. To, to what everybody wants. This is very Skyrim. You should not have come here. Yeah. I haven't played that yet. I just don't I have can't the time to invest. I can't believe you played that yet. <laughs> you know, you're actually probably pretty smart for not playing it because I would not see you for like yeah. four years if you did. You have to... You're the type of person who has to explore every nook and cranny. It's like an egg and, waffle. And, and do every single side quest that exists perfectly <laughs> or an english muffin uh should we go down or should we check out that other tunnel um let's do the other tunnel because we might not be able to come back up yeah so maybe one one trip one way trip in the elevator do, 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 do. oh uh, this looks like i think tunnel. that's it check this if the elevator doesn't work and we have to leave i'm gonna be very upset yeah at you. It's because it's your fault. I wonder who's maintaining the electricity down here. Because we haven't seen electricity anywhere else in this game so far. Haven't we? I think you're right. Even the train was like a diesel train. That had to be cranked. The train was diesel. The The houses were all like dilapidated. I think they had lamps though, but they weren't operating. Yeah, no. Everything was like oil. I don't based. remember seeing street lights. But we did see uh, the, the telephone poles. Yeah. So, it's not like well, we it's saw, not like electricity only exists underground. We saw a telephone pole with disconnected wires. <laughs> yeah, but that, I mean that <laughs> that means electricity was there at some point. True. It's not like we were living in a world without it, and then like, oh my god, what is this magic down in this cave? It's a magical cave of butt stuff. Um. All right, so we have another decision to make here. <laughs> Oh, we probably don't. Just do do the left and right. Okay. And it probably dead ends. It's yeah, like upstairs. It like yeah, it's, it's way too dark to see anything. Why did we not take the lantern that we found at the mausoleum? Seriously. Or just fire in general. This looks like a dead end also. It would make me really happy if out of nowhere this just turned into like the new Doom. Yep. And like a caca demon came out of nowhere <laughs> and you have nothing. <laughs> Instead of, like, throwing up fireballs at you, it just threw up Ethan Carter. And then the credits rolled. <laughs> <laughs> Mystery solved. It's like a partially digested Ethan <laughs> Carter. All gooey and phlegmy. Oh, that reminds me. We have to play Firewatch. Yeah, we do. You just got that, right? Yep. Oh, I haven't I even really loved yet. Firewatch. It's, uh, it, it's one of those games that has, like, very positive but mixed reviews. Like, all the positive reviews, like, I really liked it, but blank, you know? Yeah. There's a bunch of games I gotta catch up on and yeah. play. Oh, it's, ooh. More tracks. This is a uh, very Resident Evil 4. Yeah, this looks like a boss fight area, if, if this were, like, a boss fighting type of game. 
Uh, maybe we'll find the boss next time. Okay. 